Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in today. I've got a really fun, but I think quite classy design to share with you today. And it's using a few techniques that we've done before, but also I'm going to introduce a little bit of masking off because I know we've got some lovely new followers and thank you for getting in touch. And also thank you so much for subscribing. Honestly, it means so much. It really does. And I'm aware that um, you love these designs and you just want to push yourself a little bit more. So I thought we'd introduce a little bit more masking. Now, don't worry if you haven't got the new stamps yet. Again, I'm aware that it does take a while for them to wing the way, fly the way over to you. But I thought I'd use a combination of some of the new stamps with some of our older stamps um, just to make this this lovely design. As you know, I love this panel. We're just going to put a twist on it by adding the two, um, the two broomsticks. So that's the plan anyway. But it's one of these you have to think about. So I sort of needed this plan in mind. And I'm going to start with, as you know, one of the um, packs I tend to buy is this. It's a multifarious multi-pack. And it's got the A5, the A6 and the 7x7, all of which are sizes I love using. So I'm going to use one of the A5 from this multi-pack. And... I'm going to begin, I'm just going to get some copy of paper, as you know it's just, I like to lean on it, it just helps me with my stamping. And I'm going to get my black, my Versafine Claire, the Nocturne. And I'm going to start off by stamping our lovely broomstick. Now this is the larger one, there's two, a large and a small. And I quite like mine not to be exactly straight, it's a broomstick after all. So I'm going to ink up. And I'm going to stamp this one first, just sort of, and this one I'm going to do sort of by eye. I'm going to put it sort of midline about there. And then I'm just going to get myself a little bit, this is my Lavinia low tack tape. And I almost want this distance to be that sort of width. I'm going to ink this up again. Again, be mindful not to put my block. Don't get in the habit of putting your block on your work, please, ladies and gents. Because you know what? One of those habits, what's going to happen one day? You're going to have ink on here. You'll pop it on and ruin your work. I've been there, done it. So I'll try and get in good habits. So this one, I'm going to put the opposite way. And I'm just going to use that as a sort of a guide as for where I want it. So I'm thinking about there about that sort of width it's not crucial but it just gives you a bit of a bit of a guide lovely and then I'm going to stamp my lovely playful pumpkin and again I'm going to use black now Eric is under my desk as normal for those of you that are new he's my black Labrador bless him he's just had his ninth birthday and he's shattered. I've had him out for a walk already today and he seems to be snoring a lot recently so if you can hear a noise it's not me I promise it's Eric breathing heavily. Now I'm just going to pop my playful pumpkin just over here just so that it's on just balancing there look on the, the broom handle. Now what I do want to do is I want to make a mask for this. So what I have is this lovely Lavinia masking sheet. Now if you're not used to this stuff, fabulous stuff, you get four sheets in a packet. And the big thing with this is you stamp on the tissue side. And I've got to be honest, the first pack I ever got, I stamped on the acetate side. But that's just a carrier sheet. So I decided I was doing it wrong just so that I could tell you all how to do it correctly. And I tend to cut myself a piece. And then all you're going to do is cut round this. And what happens then is you have a mask look. And here's one I've already cut out and used. And I've got one for my broomstick as well, look. And I just keep mine on a, a, a large piece of acetate. Or on the packaging, a little, little tip is the back of the packaging. If you keep your packaging your stamps in the packaging, pop it on the back. They're so useful. 
So I won't cut that one out. I've got another one. I'll cut that out later. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to blot this now before I put my mask on. Just because first I find clear, slower drying ink, I don't want to, to smudge it. And what I'm going to do is just peel this mask off and just pop it over my pumpkin. There, lovely. Right, and then in with my low tack tape, and I'm just going to put this piece across here. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to go all the way around, just using the side of my card as my guide. I love doing this. It just makes a lovely frame. And, and if you're new to card making, it just gives you, A, you've got less area to fill, which is nice. A large area can be a bit overwhelming if you're new. But also, I think it just gives a nice classy design. But because we've stamped first, if we look at the finished design look, this will be on the outside of the frame. And I love doing that. It just adds another dimension. What we'll do, going to come in with some colour. And I've got the elements. I'm using two today, the olive and the russet orange. So we'll come in with olive first. Stencil brush into the lid. And I'm going to start on the bottom corner and just flick some ink. These two bottom corners first and then work my way round. Now, because I've got a little bit of the broomstick, I'm just going to just going to put that on there, just on that corner. Doesn't matter about the handle because the handle's under the masking tape, but just that corner I just want. And I'm going to come in quite a bit. I only need a little bit of white space on here. Put that down. And then I'm just going to turn it round because for me it's easier. Again, start on these corners where I've got the most ink. And then blend it into the middle. And round my lovely pumpkin. And again, blend quite a bit. I just want a little bit of light area in the middle. It's always nice to have that little bit of white space. And don't over fuss with your blending. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to come in now with my smaller brush and my russet orange. And these are probably two colours that you wouldn't put together. And I've got to admit it, when I first did it, I thought, mm, should I have just gone for a darker green? But I actually like the way the orange goes onto the green. So sometimes it's nice to try other colours. And I'm just coming into the corners first. And then just along the edges. And we'll put some just under the broomstick here. And again, quite deep in those corners. And then just whiz along. And I'm using the smaller brush for this. I do love these smaller brushes. Got quite a lot of control with them. And round our pumpkin. And then just a bit more in these corners. Just adds a bit more oomph. And don't worry, well, this is work in progress, so don't be harsh on yourself. You know, if it's not perfect at this stage. Now we're going to come in with some more stamping. And for this, I'm coming in with this lovely maple leaf. And this is the larger one. It's not the pound one. We have a, a pound one. But this is the larger one. So useful. And we're going to come in with the Shady Lane. Or... As my workshop ladies know, Shady Lady. And we're just going to put one stamp here. And I'm going to turn my work round. And we're just going to make a nice shape up here. So if we pop one. And this is why we've, 
masked off look so we can stamp right over that pumpkin and when we take the mask off the lovely leaf will be behind i think we'll just leave it there with the dark green and i'm going to use the same stamp i love to use the same stamp but in two different colors so we'll come in with the verdant now and as you know this is the lighter one i do think these two work really well together and we'll pop one here and then let's have a look what are we thinking i'm thinking if we put one there and then just one at the top coming in there and look, even though we've stamped the light, a lot of people ask, do you need to stamp the light first and the dark second? But because it's light and dark, look, even though we stamped that lighter leaf, now actually looks behind the darker one. Very clever, isn't it? Little trickery. And then what we're going to do now is a lovely stamp, and this is on the vine set, and it's almost these leaves that are shaped like hearts. And we'll come in with our lovely summertime. So this is going to bring in those orange tones. And I've just caught my pad there. So, so while I do a few of these, it gives me a chance just to ask, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. I hope things are going well. I'm just going to stamp a few and again i don't want to overcook it but i just want to bring those orange tones in look maybe we have one just there and i think just at the end of that yeah i like that shape there yeah pretty Ooh. my ink pad lid is alive right i'm just going to wipe my stamp pop this out of the way as you know i have to wipe my stamp each time otherwise i end up with ink on my fingers now we're going to come in with this lovely cobweb as i say this is one of the older stamps and this one we're going to use our morning mist just because i wanted a bit of gray and i'm thinking a larger cobweb in this corner now I am mindful a few of you have got in touch and said you don't like spiders and when you see them on cards it makes you go all funny so do you know what we're not going to add any but you could if you wanted we have our spider stamps you could pop a little spider hanging from the cobweb but I'm going to look after you sensitive ladies and gents and we won't. Now what we will do at this stage is just add a little bit of water my fan brush is in my water pot and we just want to add a little bit of faux bleaching and if your blending isn't quite as perfect as you wanted this faux bleaching really ties everything together and it'll just get rid of any marks that you weren't keen on just add a few more in that corner and i love this don't worry about this stamping that was our permanent ink so that'll be that'll be as good as gold now again normally i'm sorry i just knocked my lamp i would use my heat tool or i would let this dry naturally because what you'll find if you let it dry naturally the faux bleaching just almost looks better but because of time and i know some of you like to spend time with me but some of you like the the videos a little bit quicker i'm just going to give it a pat look well actually that's a nice colour, so I'm happy with that. So I'll just give it a pat dry. And then I'm just going to bring my heat tool in. So just bear with me. This is the heat up tool. So this is the one for heating, not for embossing. And what this will do is it's going to dry my card. But also, if you look, it will just help these lovely masks come off. And also your double-sided tape your low tack tape I mean because um, even if I mean I'm so lucky with Lavinia because the low tack tape really is low tack look you can see where I put the most water look obviously went for the corners dry your card front and back but also look my tape is going to peel off 
bike but so look it's lifting up in the corners already so if you were worried that your tape was going to lift and take the top of your card off just use your heat tool take that one off as well fabulous we'll put that in the bin now don't worry about this i've got a plan for this We'll take that off. Again, store it over there. And I love that, don't you? I think it just works so well. We're going to add some colour and I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to complicate the colour. So my little stencil brush again and I'm just going to come in with my russet orange and just add a base colour to my pumpkin here. It's a large area. So there, that's done. And then I'm going to bring in, she says, I'm going to get some space and bring in two things. First of all, our watercolour pencils. And we'll just add, and this is where you need to check that your card is lovely and dry. We'll just add a little bit of brown to the base and the sticks of our lovely broomsticks here and again I'm not overthinking this brown at the base and then I'm going to come in with a yellow tone at the top and then just an orange in the middle And I'm just going to blend that all with a nice light colour. And I'm not even going to add any water. You can do if you want, but I don't need to. I like it as it is. Because what I'm going to do now is come in with my lovely my pastel pencils. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of green on the stalk here. And then on our pumpkin, just to give it a bit more oomph, I'm going to add a little bit of orange around the edge. And then a little bit of red just at the top look. And I'm just giving it a bit of a blend, um, just a sort of a smudge with my finger. Does two things, it blends it, but it will also fix it. If I was using a large area, I would use a spray fixative. But because it's just a small area, just smudging it with my finger is enough to fix it. And I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add a little bit of red actually in here. I think it'll just tie the whole design together. Just, just some smidging of red. Now, while I've got my pastel pencils, my idea is, because obviously we've got this area here, I'm just going to add some yellow, just some bright yellow there. And then all around my broomstick look, I'm just going to add that magic. It's going to fill in this space. But also, it's just going to add almost like a magic sheen to my lovely magical broomsticks and again just a nice smudge but it will just fill in this space and it's just a nice trick and it just adds another touch another dimension look and it just looks like I wanted it to be like that anyway which I did we'll add a little bit round our pumpkin I think I love the pastel pencils. And what we do need is with my gold metallic, and this is the, the Signo Jelly Roll, I'm just going to put the bands on here. And then actually we've got some of these, look, we can add a few just to tie the gold in. Lovely. We do need some sparkle. So, a.k.a. Wink of Stella. And let's add, because you know what, you cobwebs, you've got to have sparkle, haven't you? And the Wink of Stella is fabulous for this. And we'll add a little bit on our pumpkin. 
so we've got a bit more magic and then our brooms here look and we've got this pumpkin here at the base do love the wink of Stella finishing tricks with our Posca white Posca will just add a couple of just on his eyes look oh, that menacing mouth he's definitely up to no good isn't he And then just before I add some yellow splats, I'm going to add a word. And I've gone, we've got so many lovely words on here. And this is sheet three. As you look, sentiment, journaling sentiment, sticker sentiments. I've written the number on the back because I do forget. So this is set three. Now, I think I'm going to go for cobwebs again. It just fits in well because we've got the cobwebs. And again, little trick. Get my scissors. And it's just going to, if I'm lucky, you know, it'll just fit perfectly in there between the two brooms. See, it's like there was a plan. And then yellow, let's give it a good shake. Gentle tap. And I just want some yellow splodges. Now, if you want to just keep them in the area, you could add these before you take your masking tape off. But I like to add a little bit into this white area. So I just add a few little splats for me. Bottom corner, top corner. As I say, you could leave those off just for me to tie the whole thing together and just in that white area. Now, some of you might like to leave the white area completely white, which again is, you know, that's perfectly fine it's your design isn't it funny I like white space and then I go and add just those little splats but I just think they're just enough to add a little so I'm going to bring in the one that we made earlier because you might get as the wink of Stella dries look the sheen is more apparent so you'll be able to see the sheen more look at that fabulous so if I pop the two here and I'm hoping that gives you some ideas of mixing out old and new with a lovely design, a good old design that have been using for years. Again, works fabulously with these new stamps and, and the broomsticks. Oh, so much you can do with them. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. And I'm hoping it's given you some inspiration. For those of you that Mr Mojo's got on holiday, maybe have a go at this and see if you can bring him back. And also a Christmas version of this. We've got autumn, we've got Christmas, so many things you could use this design for. Maybe if you feel strong enough, can you manage a spider? Can you add a spider or a potion bottle hanging? What do you think? Or one of our crows sat here. Again, oh my goodness, so many possibilities. Right, I'm going to go, I'm going to leave you to play. Let's hope those crafty juices are flowing. You take care. And thanks so much for being here. Love and hugs from me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.